Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I have the Xiaomi Mi Note 3. Now I've never been a massive fan of Xiaomi phones, mainly due to their user interface. I do find it quite bloated and full of unnecessary software and apps. And also when you do purchase the incorrect version, if it's a Chinese ROM, then you have to install Google Play Store yourself. But this particular one here is the international version. So I thought I'm gonna give this a try. Specs are massive, six gig of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage. It's got a Snapdragon 660 octa-core, 2.2 gigahertz processor, 16 megapixel rear camera as well. And it's a dual camera. So let's get ahead and open this up. So it's like you get a case with it. A black silicon case, SIM tray tool, and some information there in Chinese, which I can't read. That looks gorgeous from there. Another reason um, I've not been so fond of Xiaomi phones is that I find they make boring, bland phones uh, in terms of design. It just looks very basic. Um, I'm sure apart from the Xiaomi Mix, the Xiaomi Mi Mix and the Mi Mix 2, they are uh, stunning phones, but for general, general phones normally, um, they don't blow me away. This one, however, looks stunning. Here's the packaging. So you get your charger. So it does support fast charging because it's um, five and nine volt output. Cables are neatly folded up in there. I don't want to ruin it. Ah, look, USB type C. Uh, so this is 3.5 mil. Headphone jack. So the phone doesn't have its own 3.5 mil port for earphones and headphones. You have to use an adapter, which might be annoying for most people. And USB Type C cable. Nice and neatly boxed there. I like the packaging. Nice and neat. Let's have a look at this. That blue is definitely stunning. Let me peel the Stickers off. That is absolutely stunning. I love that. Round to the back, let's peel the back one off as well. Oh, look at that. Stunning. It's got back and front glass with metal frame around the edge. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning design. I really, really like that. 1080p display, 5.5 inch, and it's a good manageable size. Here's my Pixel, the original Pixel, the first one, and there's not much difference in size there at all. Now this phone also has NFC, which is excellent. Uh, so this phone obviously is a little bit uh, on the dearer side. It is around about £300, £340. But comparing to other flagship phones, it is still what you might call a mid-range budget phone. It's not a six, £700 phone. So definitely in the budget range. So you do have a fingerprint sensor there at the bottom. Front-facing camera, which is... 12 megapixel come to the bottom speakers microphone usb type c connector around the side volume rocker up and down and power at the top there is no 3.5 mil port but that does look like some sort of ir blaster there on the top come round to the side you have a sim tray so in the sim tray you can have dual sim so you can run two nano sims at the same time unfortunately there is no micro sd card slot so you can't get an SD card in there but this is a 128 gigabyte storage phone so you have plenty of storage capacity beautifully crafted phone this is it's got thin bezels around the edge of the screen or the edge of the phone sorry stunning let's turn it on fingerprint pixel fingerprints which is to be expected beautiful turn it on so looks wise Stunning. Let's see what the user interface is like. Oh, user 
So me you nine. So I've not used nine before. Let me just connect to the network. Okay, so I'll set up a fingerprint quickly. Okay, let's have a look at this. So. That's some strong vibration on there, haptic feedback. That's great. Okay, is that it? Okay. So as I said earlier, this screen is a 1080p display. It is IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen, Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Okay, that looks superb. Look at that. Sharp, clear screen. Those icons look excellent. Beautiful, love it. This is also running Android 7. Uh, it should be anyway, let's have a quick look. Uh, Android 7.11, Mi Note 3, 6 gig of RAM, internal memory 128 gig, you have 114 gig available. System updates, anything available? No updates available. So on Mi 9.130. Go back to the menu. So at the bottom there, you can make out the back button and the, the menu button, I believe, or the Let's have a look. You can't see it at the moment, but now you can. That one is recent apps. Cool. Nice. They do seem to be slightly backlit. No recent apps. Okay. Let's see what their lock sound and unlock sound is like. Let's lock it. Nothing. Unlock. There we go. Wow. That unlock is absolutely rapid. That is amazing. <sighs> Jeez, I've never had one unlock that fast. Look at that. Rapid. Come on. Excellent, absolutely excellent. I'm blown away at the moment. Jeez. I don't think I've been excited about a phone before as much as this. Okay guys, I'm just playing back some 4K video footage here off of YouTube. It looks absolutely stunning, that IPS display. Super. Okay, let's check some audio out then, shall we? Audio quality is really, really good. Nice, loud, and clear. And also, you noticed there is a speaker there and a speaker on the right there. The bottom one here kicks out slightly more power than the one at the top there, but it does have a better sounding experience when you are front facing, more of a sort of a, a surround sound feel, which is excellent. Let's have a look at this camera then, shall we? Autofocus, looking good. Let's take a picture. Let's switch to front facing camera. Okay. Cool, I love that camera sound. Okay, let's switch to video mode. So we have full HD and we also have 4K, which is brilliant, isn't it? Um, let's put it in 4K. Go. So it's recording. 
recording in 4K. Now this does look really good from here. Sweet, okay. Front facing video, let's go for it. Now we are recording on the front facing camera of the Xiaomi Mi Note 3. Testing the image quality and obviously audio quality. And it does look pretty good. Great stuff. Okay guys, I think that concludes my unboxing and quick look at the Xiaomi Mi Note 3. I'm very impressed, not being a massive Xiaomi fan, but this one has, um, has definitely impressed me. With the stunning design, you cannot fault that whatsoever. That unlock speed. Is this a tap? Absolutely brilliant. Camera looks pretty good. Sound quality is really, really good. And that display is beautiful. Playing back videos and gaming, I imagine, is going to be great on this too. Um, it's a Snapdragon processor, so they are slightly dearer than the normal MediaTek phones that you have out there, but you get what you pay for, really. And if you can afford, you know, a little bit extra, and you don't want the Samsung or the Pixels or the Sonys, then um, you want a sort of a mid-range price. This looks, at the minute, definitely the way to go. I think I'm going to really enjoy using this over the next few days. So if there are any questions, guys, please... Um, comment below um, if there are any sort of features that you want me to test or you want to know about and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. There are links in the description below. Uh, they are affiliate links so I will get a slight commission if you do purchase them through there. But I'm going to go away now and give this a real good test and then probably next week when I will release the review of this phone. But first impressions are excellent. So guys, thanks for watching. There will be some more videos coming soon. I do have the Blackview S8 coming and also the Migu Note 8. Those two phones will be coming very, very soon. So please give the video a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you very soon. Thank you for watching.